Hey guys, Jay Young here with Young Red Angus. Thank you so much for making this video a part of your day. Uh, today I'm going to do an update on three things. Uh, we'll update you on how our oats are doing, the oat field that we raised for oats as a cash crop, and then the oats that we had a oat cover crop mix, um, and talk to you about how that's looking. Um, we'll also show you guys how uh, the bioreactor is doing um, that was made on April 16th, so it's two weeks old now. Lastly, we'll show you how the video from last week, how the, the cover crops are doing that we planted in the tops of our Johnson Sioux compost that is now right at a year old. So let's roll the intro and then we'll get into the video. And this is what we all feel. Let's just not deny it. Something pulls and it tears in the deepest place. This is what we all know. Why must we still fight it? It's time to open our eyes. Guys, today's episode is sponsored by Green Cover Seed. Make sure you go to greencoverseed.com, check out their smart mix calculator, and give them a call for any questions that you have on how to put together the right cover crop mix for your situation. Okay, guys, here we are on the oat field that we planted um, there at the beginning of March. Uh, I like the way it looks right now, all things considering. Uh, we've only got 60 hundredths of rain uh, on this field since we planted it and before that there was about 10 inches of snow a couple of 10 inch snow events and then before that it was september that it got any moisture so we are still pretty dry here so all things considering really happy with the way this is looking i i like the way it responded um to the the seed treatment i wish it was rooted down a little bit better than this um but it will, I think it's going to turn out fine as long as we keep getting moisture to keep this field growing. I'll take you guys now to the oat cover crop mix that we're going to use for grazing. Okay, guys, here we are at the oat cover crop mix field. Uh, the first thing I notice here as we get here is, you know, it looks a little bit thicker. Um, you know, you pull up the, the root system. Well, it is thicker because we planted it at a higher population with the oats and with the cover crops in there. Um, but then as you pull it up, the, the rise of sheath looks healthier. Part of that is because we irrigated it two more inches. I'm sure that there's a, um, you know, symbiosis relationship going on with the different plants, of different species going on within the soil. But in both cases, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. I'm happy on this cover crop field, uh, of oats. Um, you know, where it's at, what it looks like, and I'm, I'm happy about the oats. Um, the one concern I have is, is I don't know that this is growing quick enough um, for me to be able to graze it when I'm going to need to graze it. So right now the cows are on the beardless trit um, that we're going to plant uh, cover crops or that we're going to plant corn into. And so this needs to be ready here in two weeks and i don't know this is gonna be ready to graze in two weeks so i might have to bring the cows in and feed them so we'll have a youtube video about that what i end up doing there but anyway um that's how the oats are looking so i recommend uh fed and happy's product um you know if you're not making johnson sue uh definitely a product to buy even if you are making johnson sue i recommend it as a product to go with your johnson sue compost so that's how the oat cover crop mixes are going and how the oats are going. Right now, I'm going to take you to the shop and we'll show you how the bioreactors are doing, uh, the newest one and then the ones from last year that we planted cover crops into. Okay, guys, here we are in the shed. Um, Johnson Sioux bioreactor that's two weeks old is behind me. Um, like I brought up in last week's video, we already take, took the top off. A few gnats on it. Not really excited about that, but not too worried either um i'd also like to see a few more mushrooms we saw a handful i'd like to see the whole thing just you know a lot of mushrooms popping up not really seeing that right now but you know i've seen a ton of mushrooms with compost that went anaerobic so um i'm not too worried about it right now time will tell um we'll see how it goes um over the next few weeks and i'll keep you guys posted on it um but 
yeah, we or I ordered my first red wigglers from Fed and Happy. They should be here this week. Uh, the temperatures have gone down enough that I can put those in. Um, and then that one, I'm only going to keep red wigglers in. Uh, and then from there, the other bioreactors that we make, we'll do half red wigglers and half uh, earthworms just to see how the how how that difference does. Like if there's you know any benefits one way or the other. And the last thing I want to cover in this update video is the cover crops we planted in the Johnson Sioux compost that's roughly a year old. So we treated these seeds um, with Elevated Ag's product that has the mycorrhizal fungal spores in it. So we treated that and, um, you know, hopefully we're going to be able to see mycorrhizal fungus um, in these bioreactors. Again, time will tell whether or not that works out well or not. So... I hope this kind of gives you guys an update of how things are going. I like the way the uh, cover crops are looking in the tops of these bioreactors. But again, like this is just an experiment. I don't know how things are going to ultimately turn out in that. But we'll keep you updated on all these other things. Plus, uh, we've got, I'm, I'm trying to make a, a new compost extractor just so I have two on the farm. Uh, so that I'll be showing you that here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then also we'll, we'll show you how the rotational grazing is going and show you what we're doing for compost extract on our corn because um, we're going to be planting corn here in a couple weeks. So a lot of cool things coming down the pipe. I um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I hope you're still pursuing soil health. Jay Young out.